Hello, my name's Vince Sheehan and today I'd like to talk about Doctor Who, Planet of Giants. The first story in season two of the classic series. Um, it's written by Louis Marx and of course it stars William Hartnell and the rest of the regular crew at this point in the classic series. And um, yeah, I'd just like to walk through this story, um, just discussing what it's about and... Uh, yeah, discussing my thoughts on it really, as well as some of the themes that crop up in it. Now there's been some malfunction in the TARDIS, the doors open early, and uh, according to the Falticator, um, the Doctor, Susan, Barbara and Ian are expecting something bad to happen. But nothing really bad does happen until they dematerialise and they realise they're in this strange environment. They're by this um, rather large piece of concrete. And they notice this thing that looks like a giant earthworm. And it's stone cold dead. And they begin to realise gradually that actually they've been shrunk to tiny proportions, about an inch high. They're in uh, England in the mid 20th century where they've been, uh, well, well, Ian and Barbara have been dying to go for the whole of the first series anyway, but they're the wrong size. So um, that's the premise of this story, thus the title Planet of Giants. And during the first episode, this, this murder happens as well. This scientist is murdered, he visits this guy, this uh, businessman, this corporation head and they're developing insecticide and the scientist has got grave concerns about it because it just kills everything stone cold dead you know far more than it should do and it poses a serious environmental threat the scientist who questions the morality of this uh, insecticide is murdered the doctor and co are then confronted by a giant cat the second episode really involves the Doctor and Susan in a big sink. And um, while they're in a big sink and uh, Ian and Barbara try to save them from this big sink, this um, businessman who's killed this uh, scientist um, starts trying to paper over the cracks and uh, smooth things over with this rather weak-willed associate. In the third and final episode, the Doctor and his crew managed to somehow alert the, uh, the police who are suspicious of some fishy goings on in this uh, cottage where this uh, creepy corporate head guy lives. And uh, thanks to the Doctor's ingenuity with this gas tap and uh, a massive deodorant bottle well, massive to them, of course, because they're only an inch high. The police is alerted to this murderer and justice is served. The Doctor and co go back to the TARDIS with a giant seed. They return back to their normal shape. How do they know they're back to their normal size? Well, the seed shrinks to how it should be in the TARDIS. So this is the opener to season two. And originally it was supposed to be a four episode story, but I think they decided, I think wisely, to um, edit it down to three episodes. And if I'm being honest, it could have been edited down to two episodes. I think the story is stretched far too thinly, even for three episodes. Um, the story just doesn't carry the weight of an hour and a half of television, even to a die-hard classic Whovian like myself. Having said that, the giant sets are great fun. I love the massive sink and the massive plug and the massive plug hole. I love the massive dead worm and the massive fly and the massive ant and the massive ant eggs. Even the really ridiculous looking cat with his massive eyes at the end of episode one I loved. But the story isn't that great. Although it throws up some interesting themes, 
perhaps quite relevant today actually, particularly about how uh, humanity can have a detrimental effect on the environment. And I guess that's quite far-sighted um, in terms of Doctor Who. We often think of those themes cropping up in the third Doctor's stories. But, um, you know, even as far back as the beginning of season two, and you could argue way back with the Daleks, the second story, this um, idea that we must protect the Earth and its environment uh, is part of Doctor Who storytelling. Of course, the idea of people being shrunk is um, a very old idea. You might think of Alice in Wonderland or Gulliver's Travels, or etc. But it's an effective one. I believe it's something Doctor Who wanted to incorporate from the very beginning of Season 1, but only got round to it at the beginning of Season 2. I don't think it's an amazing opener to Season 2, but it is enjoyable but you certainly wouldn't want it to be any longer. I've just included a, just a brief slideshow of some of the main themes and the structure of this story. Thanks for watching. Bye.